All right, y'all, let's be real. As businesses, <laughs> we do some pretty dumb things with our email subject lines, don't we? Like, you've gotten that subject line before and you're like, out of here, I'm gone. And so we're gonna talk about that in today's video. Hey folks, Marcus Sheridan here, and we gotta address this problem of email subject lines. I mean, because you know, you've seen them before. You've gotten them, and you've immediately just kept going, closed them out, so the question is why? All right, well, let's talk about five, five really dumb things we do with these email subject lines as businesses. First dumb thing that we do is the just following up subject line because of course when you read that just following up as a receiver you say I cannot wait to open this email nobody cares if you're just following up but how many times let's be honest how many times especially your sales team had they sent out that just following up email that's number one we got to get rid of that thing y'all Number two, number two dumb thing we do with email subject lines is we include at the beginning of that subject line the reply sign, you know, the RE colon. You've seen that before. It might have worked for you like one time, but ever since then you're like, oh, I'm out. Come on, guys. We can't do that. We're not replying to anything. It's, it's, it's like should be illegal or something. Anybody that uses the RE colon sign should be banned from the internet for a year, period. Um, this is what I'm saying. I, I know you're feeling me on that one. So that is number two. Number three. Number three is you ever got that subject line? You're just like, good grief, is this thing ever gonna end? It just gets cut off. You know, like you don't even know what it's about especially because you're usually reading your subject lines on mobile for your email, right? And so here's the key, you gotta keep it seven words or less. We can't do long subject lines. People don't read them. Say what you need to say in less than seven words or, that's right, we're going to lose them. That's number three. Number four mistake we make. We don't make it about them. Look, it's got to be personalized. So you've gotten that subject line before that was actually pretty good. That specifically addressed a problem that you felt like your business had. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And so that's our job. If we've done any legwork on the front end, we should make sure that in the subject line, we're mentioning a problem that actually resonates with the receiver. Otherwise, we're just wasting our dime. That's number four. And number five, similar to number four, it's not personalized to them, their company, their situation. So not only does it focus on their problem, but it also needs to focus on them like, okay, yes, they, this is actually to me. This is some mass crazy email. This person knows I actually exist. We can do so much better. And let's just do a number six. Anything that is deceptive, we just got to get rid of. I mean, we got to throw it away. Like you've seen that one that says urgent, ur ur urgent. It's urgent that I never open up your email again, Jack. You know what I'm saying? We can do better. Let's make sure we have high standards. Let's make sure we make it about them. We make it personalized to them and their problems and we don't use these silly methods to get them to open it up. And if we do that, our emails are going to be dramatically more effective. As always, if you enjoyed this, make sure you share it with your friends. Until the next time, let's get to work.